My name is Edie Ann. I'm an independent superstar director with Sensi. I've been with Sensi for almost 10 years, but even better than that, I'm here to do Spring Summer 2020 product showcase. This video is going to be a product demonstration. You're going to learn a ton. I'm super excited to get started, so why don't we just jump in? So the first thing that I want to share with you, and I think it's probably the most dearest part of what Sensi stands for, is that we have a charitable cause, each catalog. This catalog is about Shriners Hospital. Um, every child deserves the chance to live a full and happy life. And so with Shriners Hospitals for Children, they make it possible every day to provide innovative specialty care for kids around the world. So we created a warmer, it's called Love Is All You Need. It's gorgeous, it's glass um, with some gold flaking on the outside. Um, we're giving $9.50 for each sale of that warmer to the Shriners Hospital. So here's kind of a snippet, I'll include a snapshot as well. But this is a gorgeous glass warmer, which means that the light is gonna shine through, um, it has a beautiful saying on it, uh, love is all you need, and it benefits our Shriners Hospitals for Children. So the next thing that I wanna talk about is our laundry products. Our laundry products are probably one of my favorite products that we offer. We have a lot of products, and this is one of my favorites. It has three different, there's actually four steps, um, but I have three of the products here to show you and uh, explain to you how they work. So we have laundry liquid, we have what we call washer whiffs, we also have scent soft, as well as our dryer discs. So there are four steps that are involved in our laundry care. The laundry liquid is highly concentrated. It comes in a 20 fluid ounce bottle, does have the pump top, and we try to explain that you should probably put about two to four pumps in every load, depending on the size of the load. Um, my loads are pretty large and I usually do about four to six pumps depending on the type of stink that's in the laundry. Um, so I usually put this in the laundry dispenser, the laundry liquid dispenser that comes with the washer. The dryer, I mean the washer whiffs are a crystal. So the crystal comes in a tub like this or this is 30 ounces, uh, 48 ounces and there's also a 12 ounce tub. Um, these are crystals and I'm gonna show you what that looks like right now. All right, so here are what the crystals look like. Obviously, I need more, but they're kind of a salt-looking substance, um, and they're very oily and very fragrant, and they all come with a scoop. I typically take about two of these scoops and put it in at the, the bottom of the tub. You can use it to your discretion, Sometimes I put more, like three, maybe four. Um, but this is a scent enhancer. This is amazing for your towels and for your sheets and for your clothes. The next thing we have are the dryer discs. These are a hard plastic, I think they're PVC plastic, and those get thrown right into the dryer. And so what happens is they tumble along with your clothes, they help with static a little bit, but they also fragrant your laundry on the last stage of your laundry cycle. So the dryer discs are an amazing addition to your laundry cycle. Now the thing that I don't have here is the scent soft. The scent soft does come in a bottle like this as well. It's softener and you're going to put that into the softener dispenser of your washer. The next thing that I want to talk about is our cleaning products. The cleaning products are amazing. I have five of them here and these are the um, types of cleaning products that we will have for your whole house. Let's start with the kitchen dish soap. Um, so the dish soap comes in a bottle of 16 ounces like this. It's a pop top with a squeeze dispenser at the top. So the liquid just comes out from the top right there. Okay. These are all highly concentrated. So you don't need a lot. So our dish soap is very concentrated. Performing dishwashing liquid creates uh, plenty of suds while easily removing food particles, staying gentle on skin, and imparting fresh scentsy fragrance. 
uh, free of phosphates, parabens, and formaldehyde. That's our dish soap. So the next thing that I want to talk about is our all-purpose cleaner. The all-purpose cleaner comes in a bottle of 24 ounces like this. There is no top, meaning um, there's no squeeze top, there's no spray. Um, it does come sealed and it is concentrated. How you use this is you're going to, and let me make sure I'm saying it correctly, a 24 ounce bottle is going to make uh, 16, make six 16 ounce bottles. So you are going to um, dilute one part all purpose cleaner with three parts water. And typically you'll just put that in a spray bottle and utilize that um, at your own discretion. So I am one that will, when one of these is empty, I will reuse this and put the all purpose cleaner in there. But I just make sure to mark it on the outside of the bottle. You can use pretty much any spray bottle that you want. So the all purpose cleaner is great for pretty much anything, dirt, grease, oil, grime, fingerprints. Um, this is good for non-porous household surfaces. Um, and uh, again, it makes six 16 ounce bottles. So this is our all purpose cleaner, works amazing. The next product I wanna talk about is our counter clean. I am pretty partial to our counter clean. I pretty much use this for everything. Um, it is, as it states, primarily for your counter but I've used it on my refrigerator, I've used it on my microwave door, my oven. Um, there's just a lot of different purposes that you can use the counter clean for. Um, it is a multi-purpose spray that cleans uh, while forming a clear dirt repelling barrier on sealed surfaces that get stronger with regular use. Um, so you spray it right on the area, wipe it clean with a cloth, and it's amazing. I absolutely love our counter clean. This is a 16 ounce bottle. The next thing I wanna talk about is our bathroom cleaner. So the bathroom cleaner, very much like the other cleaners that we have, is primarily um, made to clean the bathroom. Uh, the citric acid based cleaning spray is specifically formulated to remove soap, scum, and grime in your bathroom. Um, this has a trigger type um, nozzle for foaming. So it has a nice foam to it once you've sprayed it. It wipes clean and it's an amazing, amazing product. And of course, it's Scentsy fragrant, so it smells really good. This is our bathroom cleaner. And lastly, in our cleaning agents, um, we have something called Scentsy Fresh. Scentsy Fresh is kind of an air freshener. It's made for, um, it's a little bit more watered down than like a room spray, so that's really good for spraying the air, for spraying fabric. Um, for spraying rugs, for spraying dog beds, that sort of thing. Um, so it, el it eliminates unpleasant odors with the squeeze of a trigger, spritz on hard to wash fabrics like carpets, furniture, upholstery, bedding, curtains, and whatever you want a burst of long lasting Scentsy fragrance. This is a must have in every home that has an animal. <laughs> um, I absolutely love Scentsy Fresh. My favorite scent, for all of the cleaning agents is lemon verbena. Um, they have different specials that come out every now and then. Right now they have squeeze the day. I don't know if it's still available when you're watching this video, um, but they have some great scents that are available. Sunkissed citrus is another one. Um, some really, really, really good cleaning scents um, that you can utilize with our cleaning products. So this is Scentsy Fresh. This is all about Scentsy Pets. We started a new product line called Scentsy Pets. And right now we have three different products that we can offer to you that are safe for your cats and dogs. Um, we have Best Bud Suds Pet Shampoo. This is 16 fluid ounces, again, highly concentrated. All of our stuff is pretty concentrated. Um, this is sulfate free. It's a moisturizing shampoo that includes aloe, sunflower oil, and colloidal oatmeal to gently cleanse and condition your pet while hydrating dry, itchy skin. It's infused with a touch of Scentsy fragrance to leave your furry friend smelling fresh. This is amazing. And I will be honest, I have used it on my own hair <laughs> and it does work. So they just need to come out with a conditioner. Um, but this is the pet shampoo. So if you've not tried our pet products, you need to try them. They're amazing. My groomer uses this in her shop. 
So this is the pet shampoo. Okay, this is Freshen Up Pop. This is kind of like Scentsy Fresh, but for your dog or for your animals. Um, it's a dog deodorizing spray. So basically you just spray it on them, kind of wipe it on and it just gives them a nice fresh fragrance. It's just to freshen them up. Maybe they've been outside where they shouldn't have been. Um, maybe they haven't gone to the groomers recently. Whatever the case may be, this is what you should be using in the middle of your shampoos, in between your shampoos, to help freshen up your, your pet. All right, so this is called Freshen Up Pup. The last product that we have in our pet line is No Knot Spot. It's a dog detangling spray. So if you have a dog that has longer fur that tends to tangle up a little bit and you're trying to comb through it, this is a godsend. Spray a little bit on their fur, brush or comb through, and it'll make it much easier to utilize um, your combing or, or grooming for your pet, okay? Um, I also know that adults and children have used this on their hair if they have knotted hair, and it helps. There's conditioning properties in it, and so therefore it makes it easier to untangle those knots. So this is no knot spot from our pet line. Let's talk about Bath and Body. So we have some things here. I've only got a few things to show you, but we do have other products that are in our catalog that I know you're going to love. One of those is our body mist. Our body mist is amazing. When you come out of the shower and you spray yourself with the body mist, it'll last on you for a long time. While you're in the shower, you can use our body wash. The body wash is amazing. It's been around for a while. We love it. I absolutely love it here at the house. Um, we never have it. We never go without it in the shower. There's never not any. Um, this particular one is aloe water and cucumber. Um, they are 7.7 .7 fluid ounces and they're amazing. They're nice and sudsy, they smell great, and they go perfect with the body mist. The other things that we have are the hand soap and hand lotion. They look, packaging might look a little different, um, but the hand soap is a perfect size for your countertop or your sink top, um, and the lotion is great to have right by it so that you can lather up and then lotion up after so that you don't have the dry winter skin. So our hand soap is amazing, um, as well as paired up with the lotion. They're both made the same, so they really should go together. The next thing that we have is our Scentsy Soak. The Scentsy Soak is amazing. There's Epsom salts and oils and lotions and all kinds of great things for your skin. You just sprinkle some into your bath and um, it's amazing. It's so relaxing, it's so fun to watch it fizz. Um, you infuse your bath with authentic Scentsy fragrance and moisturizing ingredients while Epsom and pink Himalayan salt soothe tired, achy muscles and help you relax. This is amazing. Let me show you what it looks like. So here is what it looks like. It is so soft. It smells so good, so relaxing, amazing absolutely incredible this is a two pound bag so there's a lot in here it'll last you a long time it's amazing if you have a bathtub you need to have this now i also know that it is safe people have used it in their hot tubs i have a hot tub don't know that i'll use it in my hot tub because i don't want to take the chance of ruining our filter system but that's just me and i know that there are some people that have used it and they love it so this is our Scentsy Soak. Let's talk about our kids. Kids love good smelly things, do they not? I know my kids do, but I know as an adult, so do I, and the kids' products are amazing. Love, love, love our Scentsy Buddies. So let me show you what a Scentsy Buddy looks like. These are furry stuffed animals. They typically have a zipper in the back right here where one of our scent packs can go. And I will show you that in a moment. Sometimes the zipper is hidden somewhere else depending on what type of stuffed animal it is, but they all have one. Um, they are all handmade and they are gorgeous. They're soft, they're snuggly, they're squishy. They always have some kind of tactile that can be um, sensory uh, um, inviting. There's some kind of patches that get put on them, and I'll show you a couple different ones here in a moment. 
um, but this would be considered a regular Scentsy Buddy. This is um, Hallie, the unicorn, and she has a nice little diamond on the top, but this is what a Scentsy Buddy looks like. Now here is another type of Scentsy Buddy. Um, we do have a relationship with Marvel and with Disney, and so therefore we have the rights to be able to make Spider-Man. Um, he has a zipper across the back this way, and the Scentsy Pack goes in here. Let me show you what the Scentsy Pack looks like. They are little scented sachets. They have little scented beads on the inside of them. Um, let me show you one up close. Okay, so this is what a Scentsy Pack looks like. Like I said, they are scented sachets with beads, scented beads on the inside, and they last a really long time. When you have a scent pack inside of the Scentsy Buddy for a long time, I've seen them last up to a year where they smell super good for that long. So we're gonna go ahead and tuck that back in. But this just goes to show you that there is corduroy here. There's all kinds of tactile stuff that can be sensory uh, driven and they're just made with a lot of love, a lot of care and a lot of detail. Um, so this is another type of Scentsy Buddy. We also have something called a Scentsy Friend. It's kind of like a Scentsy Buddy, but they're more people oriented. Um, this one is one of the three that we have right now. Um, we have a blonde one, we have a black haired one, um, and I think the other one might have brown hair, I'm not sure. Um, but they all have a different little Scentsy Buddy that goes with them. So you'll notice that it's tied and tethered. Um, this is the little monkey, and it fits right inside of her pocket here so that she can carry it around with her at all times. Um, they do have the little dress and the little petticoat. Her scent pack goes right in the back underneath her zipper, right here, or underneath the Velcro of her dress. There is a zipper right here. Now, you could also get there by going up the bottom of her skirt, <laughs> right here. Okay, that's where hers goes cover her back up. And there's that little patch that I was talking about. Every Scentsy Buddy has a specific patch on them. All right, that's a Scentsy friend. So the other kind of Buddy that we have is called a Buddy Clip. It comes in this little container and they are pre-scented. So once you pull them out, you will get a whiff of fragrance. This one happens to be Sunkissed Citrus and this is Hobo the Cat. They are pre-scented in the body of their, um, in, in their body. And so in other words, once the scent goes away, you will need to replace it. I would hang on to him anyway, because he's super cute, um, but they are adorable. There's a little clip on the top so that you can clip it to a backpack or a purse or inside your locker, um, gym bag, whatever. Um, but they are so cute, so, so cute. And every child should have one on their backpack. It helps in gym bags, stinky gym bags. Um, super cute, gotta have one. So this is Hobo. And here's another one that we have, okay? So these are different types of Scentsy Buddies. They have their own fragrances. I'm not sure what the scent is in him, um, but they are super cute. They even have their patches on the back as well. So these are considered Buddy Clips. Let's talk about our on-the-go products. When this product first came out it was almost revolutionary and it was game changing um, they came out with the sensi go the sensi go is a rechargeable non-wax fragrance delivery system okay so the sensi go there are two kinds we have the solid and we have the regular go uh, depending on which one you get will depend on how long the battery lasts how long if there are lights or not that sort of thing okay so just so you know, and I wanna make sure I'm gonna read it correctly for you. They are five and a half inches tall. Um, they do fit in a cup holder in your car, which is amazing. The air intake is at the bottom, so you wanna make sure that that's not blocked off. However, um, they do fit nicely in a cup holder of your vehicle. This has been great for that game changer that I was talking about. Being able to bring it with you, having it be recharged, not having to have it plugged in all the time, this particular unit will last on a battery of about 18 hours. Um, the solid gold one lasts for about 10 hours. So they're great. 
After three hours, they shut off automatically so that it doesn't waste the battery. So let's say you put it in your car, you forget about it, you come inside, you go, you're in for the night. It will shut off after three hours so that the battery does not um, eat itself out, okay? Um, so these are amazing units. This particular one has seven different colors that it changes through and lights up this dome on the outside to kind of give it a little bit of an ambiance, okay? When you twist the top off, you expose the fan on the inside. These are what we call Sensipods. Let me show you what they look like up close. Okay, so this is a Sensipod or a basket. It has scented beads on the inside, okay? And it is able to have air flow through it so that the fan can push the scent through. So basically what you do is you take the pod, you can use one or two, I like to use two, why not? And you just pop them in there, just like that, okay? So that they sit in there, you put the cover on, and then turn the unit on. Now, when you turn the unit on, you barely hear it. There isn't a lot of sound that comes through this, okay? Because it's just a small fan on the bottom. But what happens is it pushes the scent through these holes up at the top and fragrance your area that it's in. I love these because I can bring them everywhere with me until the new thing came out and I'll show you that in a moment. Our pods um, last up to 120 hours, okay, which is about one to two weeks, um, depending on how often you're pushing the air through. Sometimes it'll last on the lower end, sometimes it'll last on the longer end, depending on how, like me just doing this, it smells really good. <laughs> Um, but these pods are what you're going to use for all of these fan diffusers that I'm going to show you here in a minute. So I'm actually going to leave these out so that I can show you. All right, so this is our Sensi Go. This was the first unit that we came out with. It does have a light. It has some ambiance. It's a great addition to a camper, to your vehicles, um, to rigs. Uh, I know a lot of 18-wheeler truck drivers utilize these and love them because they have a little bit of a, a night light to them. So that's great too, okay? So that's our Sensi Go. The next item that we came up with was our wall fan diffuser. So this is the basic same concept, okay? It has the fan intake here, and I'll show you the fan on the inside, okay? The difference with this is it's plugged in. So it's constantly plugged in. I know a lot of people have used our mini warmers in the past on plugs that are on the lower side of the outlets of our, our walls and our hallways and that sort of thing. They get kicked wax falls out, this is a blessing because this can get kicked and nothing will happen. Trust me, it has been kicked and nothing has happened. So you take the pods, same as what we had for the Sensi Go, okay? You pop the pod in here, you can do one or two, your choice, and then you put the dome back on. It gets plugged in and this little button gets pushed in. There is no light. This is not a night light. There will be a little bit of an ambiance that happens or an ambient light that turns um, on the outside square of the power button just to let you know that it's on but other than that there is no light that's emitted from this but the scent that's emitted is amazing these little units are incredible and i absolutely love them so the biggest difference between the sensi go and the fan wall diffuser is that this is a constant plug-in and this is rechargeable the last thing that we now offer is called a mini fan diffuser so it has the same concept as both of our Sensi Go and the wall fan diffuser by having a fan, but this one also stays plugged in. So you could plug it into your laptop. When you go to a hotel, there's always USB plugs everywhere. This just uses a regular USB, right? So all you need is the plug adapter and the fan is set up the same way. It's a mini fan. Now look at this, it fits right in the palm of my hand. You take one of those pods, you pop it on top, you plug it in and the air gets pushed through. Now the area that this is going to fragrance is going to be a much smaller area. So it would be perfect for your desk. Maybe you're at a cubicle and you have a small area. This could be, um, I bring it with me. So here, here's where I'm going to suggest. It can go pretty much anywhere as long as you have a USB plug. Um, I travel with this, it goes in my purse. So I will typically take, this is actually mine, I will wrap the cord up accordingly and I will tuck it in just like this and pop it right in my purse 
like this. So it goes in my purse. I bring it with me everywhere. Anytime I have an opportunity to plug it in, I plug it in. Um, it's a great space fragrancer and I love it. Everybody needs to have a mini fan diffuser. All right, let's talk about the fragrance flower. Love the fragrance flower. No batteries, no flame, no plug, nothing. It is a flower diffuser, okay? So it comes in a little box like this and there is a cover or a ring inside the box. You have this, which is your diffusing oil. And then delicately, there is a flower on the inside of this box that will be exposed. This is solo wood, made of solo wood, so it's very delicate, okay? So you're gonna take this flower, okay? And you're going to put it on the inside of this, and it just sits there. And what happens is it's gonna soak up the oil, okay? It's gonna soak up the oil that is in the bottle and infuse itself into the petals. And with that, you're gonna get the scent that you've chosen, okay? This happens to be Go Go Mango, which is one of my favorite scents, um, but this oil will last a couple months. You sit this right on your desk, put it on the back of your toilet, put it on your bed stand, put it on your dresser. It's a small area, okay? There's nothing to throw the scent, so just remember that. There's no fans, there's no heat, it's just a diffuser wick, and so it's just going to scent the fragrance or the area that it's in, okay? So that's why it's perfect for a desktop. It's perfect for a nightstand. It's perfect for the back of the toilet um, in your bathroom, all right? Because of the fact that it's gonna have a, a smaller area for scent throw, but it's so beautiful. It is so awesome. Now let me show you what you can do with this. This is one that I've done. It is very old. You can tell that it is dry and decrepit. Um, but I took a Sharpie when it was in this stage, as it was dry, I took a Sharpie with different colors and colored the tips only of the petals. And as the oils sucked through the wick at the bottom and into the petals, it drew the color into the petals and created this beautiful, beautiful, um, they're, they're all different, right? So no matter what you do with it, they're all going to be very unique and very different. Um, as it dries, it gets a little bit more jumbled with the colors, um, but guys, this is almost, this was from last July, and I can still smell it. It's not as strong. I have to really get up there and smell it, but there's still scent in this, okay, even if it's been dried out. So um, it's just a nice little decoration to have around the house. I put some um, old beads or rocks in the bottom of this just to kind of give it a, a nice look. Um, and I typically put them up on my um, mantle. But these are amazing, you guys. What a great, great gift this is. So these fragrance flowers are a must gift when you can't think of anything else to give. Perfect gift. All right, now I get to show you our warmers. We have different types of warmers. They're stunning and they're very, very well done. Our warmers will either have a light like this some of them don't have a light. Some of them are considered element warmers. So the dish just kind of sits on top and I'm gonna to show you that in a minute. It's a light bulb that's on the inside or it's a heating element that's on the inside and it warms just above body temperature to get the fragrance out of our wax. So here is a bar of our wax. It is a paraffin wax. It is food grade, safe for pets and animals, kids, all safe, okay? Um, they have eight cubes. Typically, I will put two cubes, you kind of break it off like a Hershey bar, into a large warmer like this. Now, you can put more depending on how much scent throw you want, how big the room is, where it's located, all right? So I want to show you this particular warmer is a bulbed warmer. So if I remove the top, you're going to see the bulb here. I'm not going to leave it too long because it will flash out the camera, okay? This one's super heavy. This is our Himalayan salt one, and it's super, super heavy. Inside is a, and I gotta be careful with this too because there's wax in it, but you see the wax that's on the inside, okay? The wax just goes in here and it melts with the heat of the bulb. Super simple 
system. Very easy. Put the wax in the dish, turn it on, and allow the heat from the bulb to warm the wax and fragrant your area. Um, most, if not all of them, have this on-off toggle switch. It's just a turn switch, okay? Turns it on and off, like so. And you get to enjoy your Scentsy Wax. Here is a different type of warmer. This is considered an element warmer. There is um, no bulb on the inside of this one. And basically it's a dish that sits on the inside and is warmed by a hot plate. So there's the hot plate. The dish just sits on top and the wax goes on the inside, just like that. This one happens to have a candle flicker on the inside, so there is an LED that's, that's giving off some light, but most element warmers don't have a light at all. It's a little bit darker here, but I wanted to show you our Scentsy diffusers. Our Scentsy diffusers have either a glass or metal or ceramic lampshade, okay? This one happens to be glass, and it does have a reflective finish on the inside of it. Okay. Um, it has a black paint with speckles, and you'll see why that's important in a minute. But all of our diffusers have the same base. So they're going to have this PVC cone shape, okay? And inside here is where the water basin is. You're going to fill it up to the line that you can see on the inside. It's also where you're going to drop our essential oils, and I'll, I'll show you some essential oils in a minute. Once you get the water in there, plug it in, put your dome on top, just like this, and then turn it on. Now you can turn the mist on here and turn the light on here. Tell me that's not stunning. So here's that speckle effect on this particular lampshade. It is gonna rotate through 16 different colors, causing a nice relaxing atmosphere when there's no lights on in the home and you just have this going maybe in your bedroom, in your, um, in your bathroom for your hot tub or your tub when you're having a nice relaxing uh, bath, this diffuser would be amazing. My daughter has one in the kids, in the twins bedroom. They use it to sleep with and it's her night light at night to be able to go in and check on the girls if, they, if she needs to. So this is super relaxing. When the mist is on, it's a nebulizing mist. It's a cool mist. So there are three different settings. You can have high, low, and intermittent. High will last for four hours. Intermittent lasts for eight hours or until the water runs dry. So if the water runs dry, it just automatically shuts off the nebulizer and leaves the light on, okay? So the light will stay on, but the actual unit that is um, creating the, humi uh, not humidifier, the um, misting that happens with a diffuser, that will shut off, okay? So there's no more water. But otherwise, it's an amazing, amazing, well-made product. I highly recommend you getting one for your home um, and utilizing it. You can also switch out the shades, which is kind of neat. So this is our Scentsy diffuser, and I highly recommend it. This is our Scentsy oil. We have natural, and we have essential, and we have natural blends. Our oils are cultivated from extremely aromatic botanicals. Um, we pride ourselves in the fragrance that we provide with our oils. Um, let me just tell you a little bit about them. This particular one is peppermint. Our Scentsy oils are designed solely for their beautiful fragrance. Essential oils offer uncompromising quality, recommended for essential oil enthusiasts who like things simple. So an essential oil is a one ingredient oil. So like peppermint, tea tree, lemon, that type of thing. Um, natural oil blends are handcrafted from globally sourced ingredients recommended for fragrance lovers and those who enjoy branching out. So our natural oils are a blend of different oils um, together um, and they make this unique fragrance and some of them are super fun. So the natural oils are derived ingredients and essential oils are blended into premium artis artisanal fragrance exclusive to Scentsy. Um, our essential oils are harvested from the most aromatic botanicals to deliver a clean single note fragrance. So that's what I was explaining. 
So we have balancing and calming and comforting and uplifting, and they go very, very well and work very, very well inside of our Sensi diffusers. So these are our Sensi essential and natural oils. I want to thank you for joining me on this product demo. There was a lot of information. Maybe you'll have to rewind and watch some parts again, but I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found something that you absolutely can't live without and you want to go and purchase it for yourself. You can find all of my information in the information that goes with this video at beautyandsense.net. Again, thank you for joining me and I appreciate all of your time and I appreciate you. Have a great day.